Welcome to the world of ecosystems, where every plant and animal plays a special role in keeping things balanced. In today's video, we'll explore how changes in their numbers, whether they become scarce, extinct, or overabundant, affect the flow of energy. Hey everyone, I'm Trudy Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain how changes to the flow of energy can have effects on an ecosystem. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain how changes to the flow of energy can have effects on an ecosystem. There are three major changes that can affect the flow of energy in an ecosystem. Number one, scarcity, which means there is not enough of certain living or non-living resources. Number two, extinction, which means an entire species has been destroyed. Number three, overabundance, which means too much of certain living or non-living resources. Let's begin with scarcity. When plants or animals become scarce in an ecosystem, it can disrupt the flow of energy. Plants are the primary producers. They capture energy from the sun through photosynthesis and turn it into food. When there are fewer plants due to factors like climate change or habitat loss, there is less food available for herbivores. Herbivores like deer or rabbits may struggle to find enough food to eat. This can lead to lower population of herbivores, which affects the predators that depend on them for food. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how does the scarcity of plants affect herbivore populations? Number two, how does the scarcity of herbivores affect predator populations? Number three, what happens to the flow of energy in an ecosystem when scarcity occurs? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses. You got this. Now let's take a look at how extinction impacts an ecosystem. Sometimes, plants or animals become extinct. This means they disappear from the ecosystem forever. When a species goes extinct, it can have serious consequences. Other organisms that relied on them for food or sure to lose an important part of the diet or habitat. The loss of biodiversity or different types of life can weaken the entire ecosystem. It's like removing pieces from a puzzle. Eventually, the puzzle may not work as well as it did before. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how is an ecosystem impacted when organisms become extinct? Number two, what does extinction do to the flow of energy in an ecosystem? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses. Let's go geniuses. Now let's see how overabundance impacts an ecosystem. On the flip side, when an animal becomes overabundant or there are too many of them, it can also change how energy flows through the ecosystem. For example, if there are too many herbivores, they may eat all the plants faster than they can grow back. This leaves less food for other herbivores and disrupts the balance of the ecosystem. Overabundant animals can also damage habitats. For instance, when there are too many deer in a forest, they might overgraze the plants and prevent new trees from growing. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how is an ecosystem impacted when there is an overabundance of herbivores? Number two, what does overabundance do to the flow of energy in an ecosystem? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses. We can't wait to hear all of your brilliant answers. In conclusion, changes in the number of plants and animals, whether they become scarce, extinct, or overabundant, have big effects on how energy flows through ecosystems. By underestimating these changes, we can help protect our planet's previous balance of life. Remember, every plant and animal has a role to play, and it's up to us to ensure they thrive together. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how changes to the flow of energy can have effects on the ecosystem by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going, going because it's not over until you, you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. You cannot compute the power of my will.